it's a it's a big victory for the a political victory for the Tea Party folks. I mean, in terms of policy, it really means nothing. And it's a, it's a big defeat for some conservatives, like uh, oddly enough, Senator James Inhofe, the climate did not change denier from Oklahoma, was Mitch McConnell's point person on, on this, arguing in favor of your remarks. And from a conservative perspective, even from a Tea Party perspective, there's a reason to support earmarks, because what happens with earmarks are it's money that's already been appropriated. It's money, say, you know, we the Congress puts money to improve highways across America. Well, in the normal state of business, the Transportation Department would then look at projects and would choose what projects they wanted to fund. Now, members of Congress, you know, with earmarks would come in and say, okay, out of that $10 billion, I want $50 million to go to a highway in my district or in my state. And so it gave the elected representatives of the country, the, the, you know, the legislators, more input, more say, and it was, and they could sort of counter the evil federal bureaucracy that's led by secret Muslim Barack Obama. So why the Tea Party people would want to get rid of earmarks and give the federal bureaucracy more power is beyond me, but yet they got sort of suckered into this fight, and conservatives like James Inhofe, who made the argument this there was a issue of ceding power to the White House, um, lost, and it just shows the power of, you know, of Tea Party propaganda. Okay.